going on everyone? This is Harry, also known as the Brand Builder. And in today's video, I wanna talk about something important for all of those people who like to think outside of the box. If you're the type of person that is not happy with the type of income you get from just a nine to five job, and you like to think outside of the box, you want to expand your financial horizon, then Stag Industrials is just the thing for you. We're talking about real estate investment trust today, and I've already done this video about Stag Industrials a while ago. I'm gonna put the link to the video that I did. Click on the link and you can watch that video. It's called Stag Industrials in 60 Seconds. It got quite a bit of views, but it didn't do its justice because it did not unleash the power of what could happen to your financial situation when investing in REITs. And in fact, I wanna make a great comparison in this video talking about landlording, and real estate investment trusts, and how both are investing in real estate, one may pose an advantage to the other, to the investor at hand, and what the situation is in order to get to that scenario. In other words, what I'm trying to say is, if you have a lot of money and you can invest in physical properties and you can pay cash and you can get it for the right price, you might be able to make more money with physical real estate. But if you are a nine to five, but if you are a nine to five, but if you are a nine to fiver and you're not making six figures, you get six figures a year and you're not making six figures a year, you probably want to consider real estate investment trust, even though both can be very lucrative for both different people. I want to talk about the option because it does give you an advantage if you're not ready to buy a property to invest in stag industrials or real estate investment trust. We are talking about an investment that has over 559 buildings. Now let's just talk about what diversification means in general. If you buy a home that you wanna rent out to a tenant, if that tenant doesn't pay the rent, you are not making any income. Now, if you own four buildings and the tenant's not paying the rent on one building, you still have three buildings where people are still paying rent. So you might still be in a positive, but you cannot guarantee that positive if all four are vacant. So with a company that has 559 properties in over 40 different states with an enterprise value of $8.1 billion and 111.5 million square feet, how could you go wrong? Yes, of course, Stag Industrials has one thing that the average investor may not like as much. The yield, the dividend yield is only 4.72%. But that is great because in down markets like this, the one we're in now, that is a particularly great thing because the price might go up and you might get capital appreciation. But what you really want is that monthly check coming in every single month. So how many shares could you buy? It's now currently trading today on this Saturday. Um, and you can look at the video timestamp because this will be uploaded on a Sunday. So that means I recorded it the day before. You'll know, you'll understand, and maybe I'll describe it in the description below. $30.96 per share for $12.50. No, excuse me. Wait a second. I'm thinking if you had 100 shares. If you have one share, it's 12 cents. If you had 100 shares, it's $12.50. So Stag Industrials, why is this such a powerful investment? Why does it have the power to increase your income? Because it pays monthly, it's a real estate investment trust. And that monthly revenue comes all the time, no matter what you do. And you can reinvest that amount back into STAG or back into something else. Now, we're not going to talk about stocks today. We're going to talk about real estate and real estate only. So would you rather be a landlord or would you rather be a real estate investment trust owner? Because real estate investment trusts trade on the stock market just like a normal stock. Whereas in real estate in general that you buy and rent out, you have to buy that on the real estate market, which means that you're either using a broker, brokerage, or you buy direct from the owner 
and you're making a deal like that. So it depends on how you do it. One is traded on a stock exchange, so the volatility of the market will affect it to some degree. Sometimes it won't. But the choice is really yours. Dividend income or rental income? Because to me, dividend income is more guaranteed than rental income. This is why I like real estate investment trusts so much. But what do you like? Let me know. Hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. But most importantly, I would like you to hit the notification bell. Make sure this video reaches you in the time that is uploaded in a fast manner and an efficient manner because I want to get these videos to you as soon as possible. We're going to be talking about side hustles in the next video. So make sure you get your video on because side hustles is coming up. Make sure you get with the program of side hustles because I love them. And in this video, there's some music that I made below. I like this music. You may not like it. And some people have been asking me about the music in the background. Yeah, that's music that I've been making for the videos. I like to make my own music for the videos. So that's what I did. Have a good day. Enjoy.